Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, just a little recap of what Ben was talking about. I am going to be showing uh, creation in GDT with Katia V5. The program I'm using is R24 with um, uh, 3DCS 7510. Uh, so we are using a part of the training lab with the door gap model. And one part we're going to look at uh, individually is this side member, this blue part, and creating some of the GDT. So here is a drawing that we're going to, um, I'm going to display here uh, to create all this GDT here, the datums, the tolerances. Uh, but first, I do want to step through just a couple little things uh, as far as settings go. Um, for one, when we talk about using 3D or uh, FTNA or GDT creation in CATIA, 3DCS, we suggest to users to use the Tolerance Advisor. The Tolerance Advisor is uh, kind of like the a wizard, if you will, to creating um, FTNA in CATIA. And it's one of the best ways, it's an easier way, it kind of guides you when you're starting to pick new datums or pick new tolerances, it'll kind of help you with um, how to establish some of this uh, uh, features. So with semantic tolerancing, it is required a requirement in 3DCS so we can pick up those links, we can pick up the relationships with the CAD. Um, so that's one part of the tolerance advisor. The other option is to using the, let me get to that uh, settings here. So right in the tools options of CATIA, right in that first page, you got the semantic control. So usually it's always set up like this as far as always create semantic tolerances. This is using that tolerance advisor. And then always non-semantic tolerances are allowed. So we can turn these off and then turn this one on. So always to create semantic general tolerances on dimensions. So can you just very quickly um, just summarize the difference between semantic tolerances and non-semantic tolerances? So really quick, the semantic tolerance will allow 3DCS to uh, pick up the links, pick up the relations, whether it's with datums, whether it's with the features. Uh, so in this list, you'll start seeing you know all these datums show up, whereas the traditional method is using the this whole toolbar here. You got uh, this tolerance this tolerance window that will show up once I pick on it, a feature, and I can define it in any way, but there is no relationship traditionally without those, without being semantic. There's no relationship to the other features on Correct. the parts. So anything that's linked, anything that's uh, related to any datums, those are some of the things that we, 3DCS will require to, you know, read in. So, uh, I'm going to go back here because I turned those options on. So I want to go ahead and just say, for example, I'm going to put another tolerance on here. So using this tolerance wizard or this tolerance dialog, I can go through and create, you know, position. This is more like a manual way of adding features to it. And then I'm going to add some MS, MMC. I have datums, a... B and M, C and M. And with the semantic tolerance in that tools options, through, uh, CATIA will check to see if this is a valid note. So once you hit OK, you know, you'll, you'll see that this is uh, created on these three holes. But now when you go back into it, the dialog actually changed to what is the semantic dialog. So you can edit it in here, edit the range, whether you want composite, you can also define composite in the uh, other dialogue. So it's so for users that are using traditional method, they can continue using that no matter what. I mean, it's an easier way, or that's just something that uh, the user has gone to know rather than using the tolerance advisor. Uh, both ways will give you a response, whether it's a, a true note of GDT.